Hey my ducks and welcome to another video with me and today we're going to do another thing on BuzzFeed um, This is the same day, hence I'm wearing the same shirt and I look pretty much the same as the last BuzzFeed video thing that I did um, So I'm gonna... So today we're gonna see how popular my fears are So let's start this if my thing plays ball and actually starts to record there we go. So the first one is, would you rather burn to death or drown? Oh no, these are like my worst. Like these are pretty much the two ways out of all the ways I'd rather not go. I'd rather be poisoned than either of these. Um, out of either of them I'd probably say drown, unless it's a very hot heat. Okay, I'm gonna say it's as hot as the sun, because then you just literally yeah, vaporise within seconds because, well, not, we're less than that really. Yeah, I'm gonna go with burn. Oh my gosh, I'm in the in minority here. Okay, let's go on the next one. Would you rather be in a large crowd or a small space? Large crowd, I'm sorry, I can't deal with small spaces. I, I, I think I am a bit claustrophobic. To be fair, I think everyone is a little bit, but some people have it really badly, but... I don't mind being in small spaces as long as I'm in control of being able to let myself out and if there's an exit that I can get out of but if I'm like locked in a cupboard and someone else has to let me out I, no I wouldn't get in the cupboard for a fir for the first in the there in the first place <laughs> my words but yeah people agree with me on this one um, would you rather be get bit by a snake or a dog? Um, I'd say dog because the worst you can usually get from dogs is rabies and that's treatable. Some of the snakes have a poison and things that isn't treatable. I mean, I know a lot of them do have anti-venoms, but I'm sure there are probably some snakes that don't have anti-venoms, like anti-venom, like, yeah, made for them. So I'm probably going to go dog, and people agree. Also dogs tend to be easier to control than a snake. But I'm not going to really have that problem, there aren't really snakes in the UK. Not like dangerous ones anyway, there are a couple but they're like, ooh I'm a snake, ooh. <laughs> anyway, next question. Would you rather stand on top of a tall building or be trapped in an elevator? I'd rather stand on the top of a tall building. Oh, but would I? Yeah, I'd rather be on the top of a small bu on a small building, yes, tall building. Because it doesn't say where you have to be. Uh, it can be right in the centre. If I'm right in the centre, then I'm absolutely fine. I'd rather do that. But being trapped in an ele elevator, as I said before, I have to be able to control the small space. I'm a, quite a control freak, to be far. I think I am anyway. I, I don't know. Would you rather speak in front of a large crowd or jump out of a plane? Um, I'd rather speak in front of people. I'm sorry, but I have a huge fear of falling and to my death. Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I don't like the idea. I don't like high things. Well, it's not the fact that I don't mind being up high. It's the fact that, yeah, I can fall and plummet to my death. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Um... Are you more afraid of the dark or the unknown? Oh, but they're sort of the same thing. It's not the dark itself that's scary, it's the things that lay within it. So I'd probably go for the unknown, because that could cover everything from aliens to uh, ghosts and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not good with horror films either. I mean, I don't mind ones that are more like zombie sort of thing or uh, things like The Purge, they're cool. But ones that are um, paranormal, hell no, I am out of there. Although I did go and see, um, what was it called? The Conjuring 2 in the cinema last year. Wait, uh, not last year, oh my gosh, that was two years ago. Oh my god. When that came out, I went and saw that in the cinema. Am I more afraid... Anyway, next question. Am I more afraid of failure or rejection? I say failure because I've been rejected for various different things. But 
and I've failed various different things as well, but I say failure is more scary to me, especially at, right now, given where I am in my education. It's just like, oh my god, <laughs> more people are scared of rejection. Well, you need to stop caring about other people's opinions as much, clearly. I'm uh, doing the look at the screen instead of the camera thing again. It's really hard not to. Do you fear commitment or being alone? I don't mind the idea of commitment, to be fair. I mean, and I don't really care too much about being alone alone because I'm sort of used to it, which that makes me sound like a really sad eh? But if you are if you grow up as a single, as an only child, which I sort of am, I'm not really anymore because I do have a half-brother, but he didn't live with me, so I don't really count. But, yeah, I'm going to say... Probably commitment more than being alone, because I'm sort of acclimatised to being alone. But, yeah, I don't know. Am I more afraid of driving or flying? <sighs> Two phobias right here. Probably flying. Yeah, I'm more afraid of flying than di uh, dying. Yes, driving, I meant to say. What is that hair doing? Who cares? Do you fear frequent change or being stationary? I hate change with a passion. That's probably one of the main reasons I stayed on at my secondary school for sixth form. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't like change. Even when my friends have moved house and things, it's just like, no, go back to your old house. Like, I don't like it. It, it terrifies me. It's like my best friend, she moved last year, and it's just like, yeah, it's terrifying for her too, because obviously it's her house, but it affected me as well. I'm just like, no, you can't leave your house. That's not allowed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, this is the last one. So, are you afraid of needles or germs more? Needles? I mean, germs, yeah, they could come along and kill me, but I'm not afraid of them. I mean, to be fair, I just sort of think in a way that we sort of need some sort of super virus, because I'm sorry... I know it sounds sad, and I do value every single human life, but my problem, my issue is, is the fact that this planet can't sustain the current population of humans. Do you understand what I mean? I've got nothing against any any person, but it's just like this ain't gonna work. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> it's like my um school at the moment. It's letting like a ridiculous amount of year sevens, and we do not have the facilities or the space like class we don't even have the right enough classrooms like we have to turn one of the dining halls into two classrooms we split it in half and it becomes into two classrooms it's just like for growing out loud start taking in so many kids and then we'd have enough facilities oh but hey anyway needles yeah, it's about even split. So yeah, most of the most people agreed for, on most of them. So yes, that's quite interesting, except for this one. Uh, sad times. Anyway, enough about my rant about overpopulation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the last one and whatever other videos are gonna go out. I have no clue. I don't plan these things. I'm just here like ooh. <laughs> Um, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell. This list keeps getting longer every year. For crying out loud, YouTube. For crying out loud, YouTube, can you please just make a set number of things and then just like, yeah, leave it there. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. I need to stop my screen for recording because otherwise I'm going to end up with no memory. I hit the button. It's stopping. There we go. It's stuck. Woo. Skill. I'm still getting used to the new system. I've only had it for, what, 24 hours now? So. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, it's doing the screen looking thing again.